everyone. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a Theta wallet. Before we get started, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also be sure to comment down below. Now, the first thing you wanna do is open up your web browser. After you open it up, type in thetatoken.org. After you type in thetatoken.org, it's gonna show you the website. Now, on the top of the site, you're gonna see little tabs. Be sure to click on wallet. After you click on wallet, this will it will redirect you to their web wallet. This is the site where you need to access your funds just in case if you wanna send it to a different wallet or send or donate money to a friend or family member or to you know buy a good or service. Now, after you're you're on the website for the wallet, be sure to hit create wallet. Before you create your wallet, be sure to set a password. Now, for the video purposes, I'm gonna make a short little password, but for the viewers, and on the other hand, be sure to set a strong password, write it down in a sheet of paper, protect it, uh, have multiple copies of it, do not share this with the internet. This is just for video demonstration purposes. Now, I'm gonna just put a simple little password. Now, after you entered your password, hit the agreement checkbox. It's just saying that you understand once you create your Theta uh, wallet, uh, you, will, you will not be able to recover it. It is your responsibility to back up your key store file, your passwords, and Keep them completely secretive. So after you agree to that, hit download key store. What this is, it's a unique little file containing your uh, public address. Just hit save. Now after you download your key store file, what I like to do is I like to drag and drop it to my desktop. And I'll show you what I'll do next after. But before I get to that part, I need to write down my mnemonic phrase or my keywords. Now with these words, they need to be in, in numerical order, the way that it's been given to you. So you're gonna be given 12 unique words. If you ever forget uh, your, your key store file, you can also use your mnemonic phrases, type them into the site and it's recovered. Now be sure to write this down on a sheet of paper like I'm doing right now. This is just for demonstration purposes of what I do whenever I create a crypto wallet, whether it's Theta, a Bitcoin wallet, or any type of crypto wallet. But yeah, so after you have your, your sheet of paper, a pen, hit continue. Now, what I'm gonna do right now is write it down on a sheet of paper, and this is how I do it. So I'm gonna label what these words belong to so this is for theta, I'm gonna just type in, or I'm gonna write down theta wallet. And now I'm gonna write down the numbers one through 12. Now, after you've written down uh, one through 12, proceed to write down uh, the words. So we're gonna start off with deal. Now guys, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to write it clearly. Make sure it's legible, easier to read. Now, after you've written it down, underneath where your keywords are at, hit 
view private key. What this is, it's a unique string of text that contains your private key. So whenever you have a crypto wallet, there's your public key where you're able to send to anyone and they're able to send and receive, uh, well, send you crypto or you're, and you're also able to receive it from them. Um, what this is right here, this is for your eyes only. Do not share this with anyone either. If you ever forget your keyword phrases that you've written down, be sure to write this down. Or what you can also do is create a text file. Let's rename it. We're gonna copy and paste this to the text file. Hit save. Now, after you've done that, after you save it, it's also best to write it down in a sheet of paper, but for the video purposes, uh, what I'll do is I'll just write down hex key, then write it down uh, from number, word to word, by number by number. It needs to be exact, and be sure to triple check it, triple check your private keys, because after you hit continue, uh, you're on your own. Uh, you, whatever you, that's been created will only be created once and you got to be sure to write it down multiple times and store it in multiple locations. So yeah, hit close after you're ready. Then once you've written your keywords, be sure to double check, triple check, be paranoid as possible with this because if you're off by one letter or you mistake the word for uh, something else, uh, you will never be able to receive your funds. So it is always important to double check and write it down clearly, make sure it's legible. Now, after you've done that, hit continue and it'll say, you're ready, congrats. All you gotta do now is unlock wallet. Now, what you wanna do right here is, so there's different ways you could go about it after you created your wallet. You could go to your key store file, which is right here. You could drag and drop it, type in your password, which doesn't have a three character password. And then you opened up your wallet. Now also your key store file, the little file that you created, it is, it is named as your wallet address, your public wallet. Now right here, you're able to send it to anyone that, that wants to send you T fuel. If you want to accept donations, uh, you could accept T fuel and theta theta. Now this address, you're able to you're able to send both theta and theta fuel. There's you're not given two different addresses. It's all under one account. So yeah. And if you want to, you can hit receive. You can save the image, and you're able to post this on the web. Anyone can do the QR code scan and send you. Theta or Theta Fuel on the mobile Theta wallet. And yeah, and if you want to hit send, select what you want to send, T Fuel, Theta. But be sure, if you have Theta, be sure to have some T Fuel because that's the gas, to, the gas fee to pay in the network. Yeah. And also, if you want to log out, you can go to the top right, hit log out. Now, let's say you lost your key store file. For example, you deleted it. What you're gonna do is type in your mnemonic keys. Now, this is where it's very important to uh, type it in correctly and make sure it's written down correctly. <laughs> so we're gonna type in our mnemonic, mnemonic keys. Hopefully I said that right. Now, after you've done that, every time you need to access your wallet, you're gonna have to enter these again. In the event, if you lose 
your private key, which is your hex key, or if you lose your keystore file. So every time you need to access the wallet, you got to enter these again if you do not have uh, your other keys or your keystore file. Now, you can just set a temporary password. I'll just do a three letter password. Hit unlock wallet. Whoop. I misspelled a word. So there's an example. So if you misspell a word, it's not going to have uh, you access the wallet. So right here it should work now. Hit unlock wallet. And this is your wallet again. It has the same address that I created. Now, also, if you lose your keywords, I hope this doesn't happen to any one of you guys. Be sure to leave co multiple copies. This is why it's important for you to enter your hex key if needed. This is the last resort that I would go to is to enter my hex key because if anyone sees your hex key, they're able to copy, copy it, paste it. Be sure to enter your temporary address again. Just you can create any temporary address. Hit unlock wallet. And again, we've accessed the same wallet that we created with the key store file. Now, there's multiple ways that you could go about accessing it, like just how I demonstrated. Uh, what I would do preferably is use the key store file. If you lose end up losing the key store file, you have your hex key copied, and also you have your keywords copied. So in the event that you lose it, lose one method of opening up your wallet, you have two other ways to have access to your wallet. So please guys, do not, do not, I repeat, do not post uh, your keywords or your hex key online because if anyone sees it and they can identify it belongs to a Theta wallet, they could take your funds and your funds will be gone forever. They'll be in the hands of someone else. So yes, be safe everyone. I hope this is very helpful for any questions please be sure to ask me and I'll be more than happy to find, to find the answer. If I do not know it myself, I do not know everything. I am a student just like you guys. And yeah, uh, I hope everyone has a great day or a great evening and I'll catch you next time.